So you're on your Fire Stick, Fire TV or Android TV devices and you're looking for a superb streaming application that not only gives you access to some of the latest movies and TV shows, it also contains complete box sets of all of your favorite series. Now, I covered this uh, a day or so ago on the Nvidia Shield Pro, but unfortunately when I shared the application with you guys, Lots of you are reporting that when you try to use this application on your Fire Stick or Fire TV, the application would just crash as soon as you launch it. But here we can see on my device, I'm navigating around, I'm clicking on things, I'm seeing all the content, I can enjoy everything in here. And when I press home, you guys can see that I'm in fact on my third generation Fire TV Cube. Now, let's forget the intros, let me give you the exact steps you need to follow to enjoy this application on all of your devices. Now the very first thing we need to do is create that free account, which I did mention yesterday. And that free account is just any random email address, a quick password, and you're good to go. So you can do this on your computer, on your laptop, or on your cell phone. The only requirement is before you open up the website to register, ensure you made a connection to a New Zealand server. And what that just shows you there is you have an IP address from that location, and that means you can now access all of the content, including the registration phase. So now that I've confirmed that, let me now open up my uh, phone. And here we can just see IP vanish on my phone. And we've now got a New Zealand IP address. Once we have that, let me now open up a browser. I can now just open up the TV NZ or NZ website. You can see the address at the bottom. I can now click on the hamburger menu. And let's now go to login. Let's click on that. And for this process, I will generate a brand new email address just so you guys can see the end to end process. Let's now click on sign up now. Let's just type in a random password. Let's just type in a random name. So first name tech, surname doctor. And year of birth, let's just go for anything random. Let's say 1950, of course that's true. <laughs> and then for gender, let's just do that. And click on the first tick box. I don't need to click on the second box because I don't want them to email me. And click on sign me up. Give that a second. We can see I now get an email saying that you've now signed up. I just have to click on the link to verify that email. Here is the email and in one click, once I click on the link, and there we have it guys, I've now verified my account. That means my login is now good to use. How can I jump back onto my device and actually use this new login? So let me now close this down. That's all of the registration part done. Now for me to fix the crashing issue, I have to get a special version of this application, which is only designed for Amazon devices. The version that I shared before seems to be local to Android TVs. Maybe it's checking for Google Play services or something else. But if you have an Amazon device, your Fire Sticks, your Fire TV Cubes, your Fire TVs, for you to get that version that doesn't crash, I've disconnected my VPN. I can now open up Downloader. And I can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402 and click on play. And this will take you directly to my website. All you have to do is click on the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines and click on tutorials. And we can see we have the latest one at the top. Let's click on that. But make sure you're doing this when this video comes out on the 22nd of August. Don't do it before then because you may see the older version of the software. Keep scrolling down and you can now see there's actually two links for this application. So if you are doing this on an Amazon device, click on the second link here. Any other device, try the top one. Let's try this link here. Click on that, scroll down, and you're looking for this green download button. Once you've downloaded the latest version on your device, all you need to do before you open it is press home. Let's now once again activate New Zealand. I can go to locations. I can go to countries. Scroll to the right, and we should see New Zealand. I can click on that, click on connect. And what this now means is that my Fire TV Cube has made a secure connection to a server in New Zealand. And one of the key things that server does is not only does it encrypt your data, hides your online IP address, 
but it also gives you an IP address from that virtual location. So if you do need to access content from other regions or geolocked content, this really is the best and safest way to do that. Okay, once I've got the IP address, I can open up the application. Let me do that for the first time so you can actually see me logging in with the new IP address. Okay, so starting this application for the very first time after you install it. Let's see what we see. And more importantly, let's see if it still crashes. And now I'll see the welcome page. Let me now type in the new email that I registered with. Let me now type in that password. So you can see in real time what we will see when you log in. So let's type that in. Give that a second. And we can see now on my third generation Fire TV Cube, I've logged in. So no crashes so far. But obviously the real test is, can we actually log in and access the content in here? So let's just try one of these. All right, so we have heavyweight documentary. Click on that. Click on play. Give that a second. And what's happening now is the application is just checking to confirm that you do have the IP address from the correct location. And we can see now, I mean, you will see like a, a 15 or a 30 second advert before the content starts which I'm looking at now, but I will leave this running because I just wanna make sure that you guys can fully confirm that on an Amazon device, as long as you do have that New Zealand IP address, firstly, you can complete the registration. Secondly, you can log in with that registration. Thirdly, you can select any content that you want from this application. And after seeing a 30 second advert, which is just finishing now, we are straight into that content and that's working absolutely fine in glorious high definition. Guys, let me also just apologize that I didn't test this application on all the devices, but as you can see with your feedback, with your comments, you guys quickly let me know that you were seeing the crashing issue and I was able to troubleshoot that, find a different version that does work on the Amazon devices without crashing. And as long as you have that New Zealand IP address, you can access all of this content. And as I mentioned before, the content really is definitely worthwhile checking out. The other thing which is definitely worthwhile checking out, as you've seen demonstrated today, if you are looking for the easiest way to change your IP address, right now there really is a super special offer just for the next two weeks where you can get a two year deal with 75% off, giving you that total protection for unlimited devices. That means all of your Fire Sticks, all of your Android TVs, all of your tablets, your phones, your computers, all of your devices can be covered with a single price, giving you that peace of mind. You can then change your virtual location like New Zealand, like UK, like USA, over 60 supported countries where you can have that virtual IP address, access all of your favorite content wherever you are in the world. To get that at under $3 a month, I really do think this special offer is worthwhile checking out. It does help support my channel, so many thanks if you want to do that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. Do leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.